We were excited as a new party to uh, looking for candidates in 1999. And uh, I didn't meet Brad uh, during the election campaign. I met him immediately after the election when we gathered as MLAs. And uh, it was a, a young, dynamic uh, individual, uh, came with a lot of credentials, and uh, uh, an exciting person to meet for the first time. He showed immediately, you know, just a, a great ability to, uh, to be able to speak to people, to be able to understand, and I think to listen to people. That's what was evident uh, in those early meetings. I, I was honored to, uh, to be uh, Brad Wall's seatmate for 11 years. Uh, Brad was selected as the leader of, uh, of the opposition back in the uh, spring of 2004. I was serving as the deputy leader, so we became seatmates in 2004, and that existed until I left cabinet in, in 2015. For those 11 years, I saw, I saw many phases of Brad Wall. You know, I saw a person who could speak so well in the House, who could deliver a very positive message, who could uh, have terrific empathy for people, understanding the hardships uh, that people with disabilities face. And then on the other side, uh, I saw uh, you know, an individual who at some times uh, had many tears in his eyes. So we supported one another. I was sort of the more aggressive person and Brad was, was that, that eloquent speaker. And uh, there were times that we would uh, support one another because I don't think people understand how, how involved you, you get into that job as, uh, of being the Premier of Saskatchewan. You're caring about everything. And that's what I think the Premier showed to all of us. He cared. He cared about not only people of Saskatchewan, but he cared about them, the members of his team. What would make him have tears in his eyes? Oh, there were times when we were, you know, you have to remember our, our party uh, has been through some pretty rough times. We've lost uh, five in individuals that have passed away while they were sitting members in the House. Uh, that's that's uh, tough on a team. And uh, when we talk about tragedies, uh, I recall the, tra the tragedy in, in La Loche and, uh, and how this, the Premier spoke about that. I valued being part of his team and uh, you know whenever we uh, discussed uh, you know, new positions in cabinet and, and shuffling of, of, uh, of cabinet always wanting to strengthen those are always great things to to be part of his team it, that inclusivity that he had uh, there there are many laughs that uh, no I won't I can't share a few of them but uh, you know that's what that's what uh, I think always has to occur there were there were comments sometimes we would make to one another in the house uh, where it was just to uh, just to break that uh, degree of, uh, of uh, sternness that was in the house we have to laugh we just had to laugh because there are times in in the business of politics you have to be able to laugh at yourself and that's many a time we laughed at ourselves clearly the people of Saskatchewan needed to change their own attitude about the province and I see that. I see that as I travel around the province now. People don't look at Saskatchewan as the place uh, where people are from. They look at Saskatchewan as a leader now, as a leader within, within the country. Uh, you know, a defining moment for the Premier is to be recognized over and over and over again as the most popular Premier in all of Canada. That, that says a lot because, uh, you know, when you, when you take a look at how, how uh, Saskatchewan was viewed before by other provinces, by the federal government, that has changed. I think for, also for me, a defining moment is how he's led us in recognizing that we needed to uh, ensure that infrastructure uh, building occurred. We're going to be a province now that is not going to be a province uh, that doesn't have a children's hospital. Brad's philosophy was, while we're serving, we will make mistakes. There's no question. Nobody is infallible. But when we make a mistake, we admit to it, and then we learn from that mistake. People will remember him as a great orator. They'll remember him for uh, how he uh, met with people and always gave uh, time to people. That, that's very important. But you know, he always stressed service and we demanded that of everyone who joined his team, that we were there as, as MLAs to serve. We were there to listen to people and to react. Uh, his legacy is one of changing the province. Um, we were a have-not province, and today we're a have province. Uh, uh, of course, the people of Saskatchewan have moved us in that direction, but you have to have leadership, and that leadership has been strong from Brad Wall for 10 years, and I think people are going to uh, recognize that as they see uh, him leaving.